welcome to the session in this session we are going to discuss one important use case related to character encoding and the use case is how browser knows which character encoding scheme should be used to decode the http response or html there are few methods through which browser can understand which encoding scheme should be used to decode or parse the http response or html first method is using html meta tag second is http response header third is white order mark let's see all three methods one by one first one is using the meta tag in the html so when browser suppose this is browser this is server and here you have hit in the browser you have hit particular url and receive the response from the server that is the html so when browser receive this html during parsing of this html the browser check this particular tag in the html looking at this field care set it understand which encoding scheme needs to be applied to display the or to show, show the html to the user so here you can see for example utf8 so in this case browser will apply the utf8 encoding scheme decoding of the html page let me open this in any of the site so suppose this is google.com let's see the source code of it so here you can see this here you can see this meta tag and the character set is utf8 so when browser receive the response browser will apply the utf8 to decode this or to display the html now let's see the second method you can see this is the http header response header content type so looking at the value of character set in this content type header browser decide which encoding scheme needs to be used to display the html or to parse the html sent from the server let me show you in one of the website let's open the google.com let's inspect go to the network tab let's refresh so here we have hit the google.com and this is the response in the response header you need to check the response header check the content type so here care set is utf8 so for this particular html browser will use the utf8 encoding scheme or encoding standard to decode this particular html or to display this particular html to the user So this is how this is how browser can understand which encoding scheme needs to be used to display the html just want to mention is don't get confused of this this is already in the decoded form don't get confused with this html the browser has already decoded before displaying in the response tab when your browser receive the response from the server it is received in the form of bits then the decoding is happen now let's see the third method it is based on the bom byte order mark if you don't know what is bom how it works don't worry at the moment just understand how this particular technique works we will have another session on bom so bom are the bytes which are present before the html so suppose this is bytes of html and these are the bom bytes or bom value and it varies based on the encoding scheme used by the server to encode the html and you can see the corresponding values of bom here for particular encoding scheme modern browser supports this technique also modern browser 
check the BOM to decide which encoding scheme needs to be applied to decode the HTML. You might be aware that before HTML it transmitted over the network, it is converted into bits. Then only it is transmitted. So this is the concept of OSI model. So bits are transmitted over the network. So after browser receive this HTML, it checks this BOM to find out which encoding scheme can be used to decode the HTML. Now, now let's see the priority of the all three methods. We have discussed BOM, we have discussed header, content type, and the meta tag. So the priority of BOM is highest first, then header, then meta. Time it also possible that in the HTML response, in the server response, all three are present. So how browser can understand which encoding, which method needs to be used to find the encoding scheme. So first check the BOM present in the HTML response. If BOM present, it uses those to find the encoding scheme. If BOM is not present, then it checks the header, content type header. If header is present, it uses that encoding scheme present in the content type header. If not present, then it uses the meta tag present in the HTML itself. This is the priority of the different methods. One more point I would like to highlight is server should use at least one method to tell the browser which encoding scheme should be used to decode or parse the HTTP response or HTML. Otherwise, there could be a possibility that the browser is not able to decode or parse the response or HTML and it can show the very strange character or symbol on the user screen like question mark. We must to use at least one method. First and second method is widely used, but you can also use all three. I would recommend to use at least one and two. That's all for this session. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.